Pi MJ. And here we have a CB100 fan power dehumidifier. All of the fan power dehumidifiers basically operate the same and kind of look the same. So we're going to talk about one of the common problems that we hear about, and that's water leaking. So if you have water leaking down here, underneath this, or water leaking into the ductwork, something like that, the first thing you want to look at is these connections up inside here. We want to make sure that the water connection going into the solenoid valve and also going out of the solenoid valve are tight and not leaking. So you're going to want to dry them off with a rag and then look at them and make sure that there's no longer water dripping out of those areas. If you still have water at that point leaking here, then it is something else going on. So then the next thing to do would be to take this cover off. If you have water leaking here or here, usually you can tighten these up. If it's leaking right here at this threaded joint, sometimes you can just tighten this up just to here, an eighth of a turn. Same here. These two connections here on this particular model, they are friction fit. And sometimes you can just push the hose in there deeper and it will stop it from leaking. So that takes care of these two possibilities. Another possibility is there's too much water running up here and it's just flooding this humidifier pad and overflowing the pan itself. So if you have that happening, usually that's an indication that the orifice that's inside of here, which is a very small piece of nylon with a tiny hole in it, that that uh, component has failed and you no longer have a tiny hole in it. Instead, you have a large hole which is allowing far too much water to come up here and it's just flooding this pad here. So that can happen. Those little nylon orifices are easily replaced. So that's another potential problem is too much water running across here. Another possibility is if this pad has Got become completely covered in calcium because you haven't replaced it once a year like you're supposed to. If that happens, water can potentially leak off of it and run inside of the ductwork. So that's another thing that can happen. Um, last but not least, I suppose, is this drain here. You could potentially have this drain completely plugged and instead of water going down the drain, it's just building all the way up here to the top of it and then just overflowing the pan in which case you'll need to find out what's going on with this drain line. You perhaps either have a plug in it or it's just crushed somewhere uh, downstream here from this connection. Thanks for watching. For additional help or questions, feel free to contact us.